Donkey Kong 94. More like Dookie Kong 94. <laughs> I didn't mean it, baby. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'll, I'll take you somewhere nice tonight. Let's dip in the water. Let's take a let's take a swim, why don't we? Okay, come here. Come at me. Come at me. I will take both of you on. There we go. Well, one one out of two ain't bad. I like how water does not exist in the key zone, so you can like jump normally in there and stuff. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna have to I'm pretty safe from Dumbo down there. I don't know if this is the legitimate way to do it, but this has always been my favorite way to do it. Just toss it up through there. Let it go all the way to the top. There we go. I don't think we need this, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of with a little bit of extra security. Okay. There we go. Yeah. We don't want to roll to the bottom. That's not how we roll. The way we roll is by not rolling. That's how we do it. Okay. One down, 15 to go. The largest world in the game by a long shot. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that more levels or more worlds don't have 60. Oh, no, we let one out. Okay, good. We didn't let one out, actually. We, 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 we almost let out Honeycomb Badger there. That looks like the Honeycomb mascot from the 90s. Remember that? Honeycomb, Honeycomb, me want Honeycomb. It was a weird time to be alive. Anyway, I don't think they're going to interfere with our plans too much. We're just going to get right to the point. We're going to get out of here before any spiky weasels have anything to say about anything. Because spiky weasels are not allowed to have opinions in the world of Donkey Kong 94. Not if I can help it, at least. That is, that is one segment of the population I don't need to hear from at all. Okay. Come on down. I will use you for your ride-sharing capabilities. No need to crush me in the face. I think we can, uh... Whoa, hey, hi, how you doing? Let's go ahead and... There we go, get up on top of you. And now it's just... Okay, well, we're doing this, we're doing this. We're weaving our way to the bottom. What a terrible egg shot. <laughs> Stupid bird. You had... One shot to get egg on my face. And instead, it is you who ended up with egg on your face. That was the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. Little birdie. Yeah, you dumb birdie. You stupid try-hard bird. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, hey. Taking the floor right out from under me. We'll jump over honeycomb mascots for just a little bit. That's fine. There we go. Thank you, Donkey Kong, for playing nice. Man, the points we are scoring off of this. Man, if that mattered, I'd be really excited. Okay, let's see. Okay, bring the floor back, please. Thank you. I think sometimes Donkey Kong... Why are all of you going into Donkey Kong's office? You leave Donkey Kong alone. You have any problems with management, you address them to Donkey Kong Jr. Do not ever go directly to the giant gorilla. He will... Because in my experience, he will grab your face and launch you into next Tuesday. Rocks fall, Donkey Kong dies of blunt force trauma. And I think those are only in like one level coming up ahead. And it's the Donkey Kong level, so... Weird little introduction for something that you end up seeing, I think, once in this entire world. Donkey Kong going around the baseball diamond. We're going to meet Donkey Kong at second base. I think we can make it to second base with Donkey Kong. How about you? Let's go for it. Okay. All right. Super hammer it up. Just kill anything that moves. And even some things that don't move. Like those bricks. Let's get something set up for the day ahead. And I think we have to take this with us to the top here. Ooh, this is going against everything in my nature. Who? That felt like the left-handed way of doing things, which I am very much not a lefty. Well, not with my hands, anyway. But... Here we go. Down to the bottom. I think we've laid all the groundwork. I think we should be golden. There we go. Let's enter the cliffside dungeon. Using the super hammer to get done. What awaits us next? Ah, oh, yes, this one. This is another. This is another switch play one, but I, I remember it well. 
I remember you're supposed to get stung by a scorpion and lose a life. That is integral to the strategy for this level. Uh, you're supposed to do that first and then... There we go. Okay, so maybe you're not supposed to do that, actually. I think probably it's better to not get stung by a scorpion. I don't know. Probably some strategy guide I read once that led me astray. You know how it is. They're published before the game even comes out. Sometimes they're playing off of a off of a beta or a prototype of the game. Things end up different in the final product. And before you know it, you've got a strategy guide that says you're supposed to get stung by a scorpion. You know, it happens. It was just the way publication turnaround times in the 90s, like, I don't know what to tell you. Let's pick that up so it doesn't... So it doesn't go away on us or anything. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 yep. Don't want to get smashed in the face there. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 wow. Ooh, that was the game doing me a favor. I deserved... Ooh. Angels definitely deserve to die on that one. Oh, my lord. I cannot believe I got out of that unscathed. That was... That was, frankly, incredible. Yeah, all right, thank you for taking me past old Panzer there. Let's go ahead and get down with our bad selves. I think I'm gonna do the... Oh, I just did the roll. I thought I was gonna do the ankle hurt. Man, we're gonna get out of this one fast. Well, maybe. Ah, oh, God. The hubris of man. That's what I get for saying that. All the RNG was going our way. The conveyor belts were going in the right direction. That's just the way it is with life sometimes. Sometimes all the conveyor belts are going in the right direction. And you think you're going to have assured victory. And you charge toward it. And then all of a sudden... Nope, not so much. Yeah, let's, let's be smart and bring it off. How about that? There we go. Second time's the charm, as it so often is with this game. Yeah, but sometimes you just catch a panzer bullet on the toe, and the whole rest of your day goes to pot. All right, so we're going to be balancing on rocks here. Can't really do anything. Nope, can't really do anything until rocks start coming down. We are limited by our ability to be on rocks. The rocks don't go down the ladder. Like the barrels do, they are a little more limited in that way. Donkey Kong is actually using worse equipment as the game goes on. You can tell he's getting desperate. You can smell it on him. That, it's either that or the dingleberry stuck in his fur. I don't know which one it is. You could make it across, Mario. You just have to turbo tap A. But you don't want to do it that way. That way doesn't make Donkey Kong angry. You want to somersault into the waterfall so that Donkey Kong gets mad. You got to get him riled up. That's when he starts losing the thread. That's when he starts losing the strategy. All right. So moving on. We're already halfway through this joint. I'm loving it. Let's go on. What does 8-9 have in store for us? It looks like we're right in front of a waterfall. I do like how it's a very subtle touch, but the levels do often align with the geography in a way that is... Excuse you? I did not touch that. I disagree. I would like a replay. I like how the water sounds keep going on after Mario is dead. The little blub 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 blub. Even after Mario is nothing but a corpse, the water will continue rushing over his lifeless body. Okay. All right. So let's go in there. Get that going. We need to go up here. Now all we have to do is make sure that a C doesn't get shot up our butt. Uh, wrong way actually. Okay, and now I got a plethora of things coming at me. You pull the switch the wrong way one time and all of a sudden all of nature is coming at you. Okay. Can I actually touch Donkey Kong Jr. in his little alcove there? I don't know that I want to mess around with that. Probably like everything else in the game, it kills you. I just got a little curious there for a second. All right, let's move on. I think that's the only time you might be able to do that, actually. So, not exactly a chance I was dying to take or anything, but... Well, yeah, we've got a one-up. We can recoup our losses. There we go. Drop on in. All right, I like this level. I like the way it uses its parts. You just have to take a drop. Okay. 
Okay, and we've let go of it at this point. Hopefully it doesn't land on spikes. Okay, just a little roll, and it landed on spikes. That's awesome. But, of course I would slip into the little one pixel. <laughs> that was the wind's fault. That was the wind on that one. That was all the wind. That was not me being confident in my footing at all. Okay. Hey, the one-up is there. One-up is there every time. This is an infinite lives kind of level. All right, so let's just repeat what we were doing. Put that right under our noses. Okay. A little safety bounce. That's cool. Okay, let's see if I can get up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Right on the same part of the spikes. There's just something about that part of the spikes. Maybe they smell good. I don't know. Mario, what are you doing? You need to pull it together, my guy. I do like how this level uses its constituent parts, though. The way it combines the springboards with the wind. It is really well done. It's just me being a doofus. And it's me being late in the game. Getting kind of cocky and lazy. Okay. There we go. Let's make this... Can I actually weave over? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. I was going to say, can I weave over a little and avoid? Okay, sure. One more roll. One more, one more tumble. Tumble on the rocks. For old time's sake. Why not, Mario? Whatever you want, birthday boy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This one. This one's a lot of fun. There's a lot of moving parts in this one. But I think we only have to do, like... We don't have to do this all at once. It should be fine. Okay. So let's... Let's just go ahead and restart the timer. Uh, and then... Okay. Toss this here. There we go. Okay. We want... Oh, man. We gotta be fast about this. That thing is about to disappear. I think it might disappear before I get up the ladder here. Yep, it sure did. So why don't we actually fall to our deaths? Okay. Mario recovered nicely from that. Okay, so you do have to be a little bit quick. Let's go ahead and... Nice little thinking music. What do I want to do with this here? I guess we're doing this. All right. We gotta be fast though. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick draw McGraw here. Oh, that helped immensely. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever done that level quite that way. Still, 30 years on, finding new ways to solve single screen puzzles. I love it. You'll love to see it. All right, here we go. What's up now? Okay, this is just getting to the top, and that's generally pretty easy. Uh, if you're not an idiot, it's easy. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is where you want to do the backflipping from. Okay, the rocks are intimidating me. To be fair, boulders are very intimidating, even if they do look kind of like coconuts. You know I'm right. Okay. Maybe route this out a little better, maybe? Okay. That looked really swell. Okay. Up and up. Right on top of the noggin. Right on top of the noodle. Mario, come on. Come on. Get your head in the game, man. What are you doing? There we go. This is more of what the world wants to see from its premier plumber platformer. non pareil here we, yeah, there we go, and mmm, mmm, right in the sweet spot. Go away, Donkey Kong. Get mad. Yeah, <laughs> you mad, bro. Go on. Go on and be mad. Yeah, here we go. Here Mario demonstrates how to get a third degree burn. I know when I accidentally step on lava, my instinct is to immediately skip across the pond as fast as possible. Stop, drop, and roll, Mario. Don't do that. You can't do that. I thought you knew how to balance yourself on a 
on a, on a lava flow. Maybe that's just for ice flows. This is such a goofy level. Like, they put it so late in the game, and it's just an absolute gimme. There, there is nothing to this one. You literally just put the road right here and then make your way back up. And there's, like, nothing stop you, stopping you except one seed-spitting plant. Like, what a simple level. What a weird level to put. And I love this part of Rocky Valley because this is where... This is where you start seeing the tower get closer and closer. I love it. Here we go. Like, it's a little bit off in the distance, but more than it has been up to this point. And there we go. We're actually starting to see little features and details. Okay, how do we... How do we rock this one? I think we come here. Oh yeah, we get this set. Okay, there's a few switches to pull here. I remember this one now. All right, so get that going. We have to go up, I do believe. Because there's walking rock guys up there. We gotta bring them down to our level so that we can cross along the bottom, which is where the key is. You still gotta work, even if there's a panzer. Even if Lava Lotus is doing stuff to your face. Yeah, we'll bring that back. That's a good idea. Okay, I think this was the one we pulled to make that one go. There we go. Yeah, now we can get along the bottom. I think there's one more switch to be pulled, actually. There we go. And then back so the bottom door opens. There we go. We've got our setup. There it is. Now just traipse along the bottom of the level here. Slowest Uber I ever bought. I love his little frowny face. He's so angry. No! <laughs> I should have stepped out. A I knew I should have stepped out a little. I knew that was the move. And now I got to do all this switch setup. All this switcheroo all over again. Just because I wouldn't walk forward like a pixel. Mario... Your hubris is unbelievable sometimes. Can I drop here without rolling? Yeah, there we go. That's even faster. There we go. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Eh, no. Discretion is the be better part of valor. Gonna wait this one out this time. Gonna be a little bit of a coward, but... Is it cowardice or is it health and safety? Think about it. Okay. Ah, no! I was trying to get... I was trying to get revenge on the Panzer. I wanted to kill it, and I threw the key off screen. Okay, it's not too hard to get back down to, though. I think I can do it without messing up any switch action. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, revenge Revenge another day. <sighs> That's all I got for that one, is just a big sigh. That's all that deserves, honestly. Alright, let's play it smart this time. Just come down here. No crazy action. No revenge against enemies that have killed me more times than I can count at this point. Let's just be patient. Let's just wait. Let's think before we throw the key. Why don't we? There we go. You have shot your last seed. That is it for you. We are moving on, finally. That level should not have taken as many tries as it did. Oh, but maybe we can recoup a few lives here. That would be nice. Let's go for it. Maybe two? Maybe two? Yeah, two. That's what I'm talking about. Get back to our 99 state. Oh, feels so good. That's why I shop at the Megalo Mart, because it feels so good. I like how they have the door so it looks like the tower is in front of it. That's a nice little design choice right there. Okay. Ah, okay, there we go. I did not roll into the spike. Okay, thank... Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> That's it for Mario. Thank you, platform, for coming in on time so that I could jump right over to you. You're such a wonderful friend. Always there for me when I need you. Okay. All right, let's see if one can... Oh, there we go. Much more timely fashion that time. Okay, so now we just gotta be patient. Gotta wait for wait for the rocks to come across the lava. 
A very cinnamon colored looking lava. There we go. All right. Now it's just a jumping game to make sure we don't sink into the lava. There we go. And then it's just a spring, a hop, a skip, and a jump to victory. Here we go. All right. One level away from the final world of the game. Yes, indeed. And Mario shuts the door, of course. Gets drafty in that tower. Don't want to be letting out all that cold air. That's electricity that Mario is paying for right there. Probably. What are these things? Now, 30 years of this game, I have never figured out what these things actually are. Are they just sentient rocks? Like, oh, well, that was convenient. And then... Yeah, right there with the double bop. Go double wop on that shit like boo bop. What? Are, yeah, but what are those things? They're like they have claw feet. Are they? Are they just sentient boulders? Thirty years on, there are still some things I don't know about this game. It would be really funny in this cutscene if Mario, if Donkey Kong shut the door on Mario and he slammed his face into it. Little callback to the big city cutscene. I know that's not how anyone rolled back in the day with cutesy little meta references and callbacks, but I think it would have been cute. Why didn't they ask me my opinion? Oh yeah, because I was 10 years old and I had no idea that this game was being made. All right, on to the tower then. And if, if you thought the airplane was a dead end, then, you know, Donkey Kong's just getting tired. He just wants to go home, honestly. And what better home to a point for yourself than a giant tower with your head at the very top. That's my goal someday, to live in a tower with my head situated at the top. I think that's a good goal to go for, honestly. Everyone should have goals. Everyone should have dreams. 